You know what's sexier than pizza? New sneakers. Finally back doing another video. Thank God. Today at work was fucking horrible. Um, but hey, at least I have a job to complain about. That's cool. Um, wanted to get back. Had a quick pickup. Super, super excited for these. Um, definitely something I'm going to be getting into. I know I say that with like every video when I buy something that I'm going to get into it, but I usually do. Obviously, we have a different setup. I'm in the living room right now. Super, super excited for this one. Got them from StockX. Um, if you are trying to buy NMDs right now, right now is definitely the time to do it because everything is kind of cheap. Yeah, so everything's kind of really cheap right now, which is really nice. I got a box today. Very excited for these, like I said. Pick these up, honestly, for like 58 I think it was $58. Like, and this shoe retailed for $170, I think. So if you're trying to get into NMDs right now, I highly recommend it. Ah, and the new box. I like the new NMD box. So I ended up getting the Marble Greens NMDs. This shoe, like for real, if this shoe would have come out like three years ago or something like that, it would have been ridiculous, but it's like, it's not three years, so throw that away. Don't need that anymore. New NMD box. Really, really, really like this. That is definitely the way that they need to go. Right here, you can see, you got a size 12, marble NMDs. I'm super hyped for these, so take that out. StockX too, if you're not using StockX and you like sneakers, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, have your Regular StockX stuff that goes right there. The little, it's black now, it's not green. So the last one I got was green, but they've gone to that sleek new black. Came back, back to the future, thank you. Now that StockX, now you're a StockX regular. A few things to remember, free shipping after every five purchases. Track your buyer purchase on your account, blah, blah, blah. Selling is dead simple. Choose a shoe, sell, new picks, descriptions, just sell. So thank you guys, StockX, huge, huge shout out. Oh yeah. I'm, I have no NMD R1, so this is my first R1 that I'm really, really happy that I got. But that is your shoe with your little StockX verified thing. I don't really think anybody's out there faking these, but the marble on here is really cool. I'm very happy with this shoe. On some of them, I saw that like the, it's obviously a green base that they did this on, and they have put black throughout there. I think that the green right here, that's your prime that you had on there, obviously in the side. But uh, yeah, no, I'm really happy with this shoe. I'm really glad that I picked these up. Like I said, 58 bucks. This shit came out for 170. Very, very happy with these. Um, definitely want to get more into them, um, into at least the R1s at least. I think there's an Energy Ink pair that I'm looking at. It's like a purple. That's like 68, all right. Let's check that real quick. But I'm very happy with these shoes. I think that if you're trying to get into Boost now, it is like the best time ever to get up in these. Let's see, StockX. But I hope everybody is having a good day. I had a shitty day that was made a lot better by some sneakers, so I guess you gotta pick and choose your battles. Uh, that's really kind of the thing that you have to remember. Uh, and if you're not using StockX guys, it's super, super simple. Yeah, right now there's a pair on here for $64, which I'm super hyped about. Um, like I said, that's the one that I'm looking at right now. I really like them. They're 64 bucks, like, why not? Um, yeah, but if you're not using StockX, I don't know why you aren't. Very happy with these shoes, very happy. They came pretty quickly. The tracking was a little weird on it. I didn't really have a, it didn't log in in my account, but either way, the shoe got to me and that's all that, ha that's all that matters. Yeah, I really like these. Came with two sets of laces, just regular black ones, but I think I'm gonna keep these little mint green things up in here. Very happy with this shoe. Yeah, I really like these. They're nice. I really am digging them. I went a 12. I wear a true, I'm a true size 12. Um, so it's kind of, up in the air on how this is so i mean maybe if i tighten it up a little bit but they're super i, I want them kind of baggy but yeah i really like them i could probably go an 11 and a half in nmds now that i'm trying them on and trying to get in but i would rather have a little bit on nmd with the blocks i would probably like to have it a little looser than tighter so the next ones I might try and get a 11 and a half and see which one I like more, but I really like these. Um, they fit fine. Like they're, it does have a little wiggle room, but I'm sure if I tighten up the laces, it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, let's get these on feet. from work 
actually have an afternoon off, which I haven't had an afternoon off in a long time. I kind of wanted to have a little like convo section. I always do. There's always a conversation part in these vlogs. Um, I did wear the marbles, which I'm really, really liking this shoe. Um, it looks really good on foot and I, it's, they're super comfortable. I'm uh, obviously I've only really done ultra boost, but I'm very happy with this shoe. You're not, I was really expecting to feel these bricks a lot more than I have so far. The really the only one that can get you is this one. That's really the only one I'm feeling on the R1. I'm sure if you guys own NMD R1s, you know, but I've never owned really a pair of R1s. I'm very happy with this shoe. The Prime Knit is, uh, this is like a love letter to your feet. I really love the colorway. I think the colorway is super, super sick. This shoe, I've really, I've gotten a lot of compliments the past couple of days on this shoe. And it's crazy, you know, some people you can spend, fit, like, you can spend 500 on a pair of shoes and you may know what it is and somebody else may know what it is. Or, like this, I spent $58, this is the cheapest Adidas I've ever bought. And I have gotten a lot more compliments from this shoe, just from random people, than a lot of shoes that I do wear that cost a lot more. So I guess that really just kind of shows, you know. Unless you're dealing with other people that understand what this is, it doesn't really matter how much you're spending on it. As long as it looks good, I guess it just looks good. But uh, super, super happy with these. Definitely gonna be getting more R1s. Very glad that I kind of just took the leap on these. Um, so when I got these in the first part of the video, you saw that it was it, they fit a little loose. Um, super big hack, if you don't already know this, uh, a lot of people do know this, but if you get an Ultra Boost, or not an Ultra Boost, if you get an NMD R1, if you get the PK, and if you go true to size and they fit a little big, what you can do is take, if you have an Ultra Boost, just take the insole out of that, slide it up in your NMD. Since they don't have, they don't have insoles, you can just put an Ultra Boost insole in there. That's what I did. I took them out of my gray threes and just put them in here and now they fit about a half size they're perfect and they're starting to get broken in the bricks are kind of getting molded the boost is starting to get molded so these shoes are very very comfortable they're not ultra boost comfortable but you know at the same time i had to kind of take a break from ultra boost because my feet were forgetting how comfortable they were so i've been trying but i'm always going to be wearing boost usually um unless it's like sandals or anything like that when the summer comes but I usually always have boost. I wanted to kind of take a break from the Ultra Boost so I can really enjoy my Ultra Boost. It's like a tolerance break. Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta take a couple of days off before you really can get back into it. And then you really appreciate it, which I'm really happy with, but I'm really liking, I'm very surprised with a, you know, a $58 shoe that I'm enjoying them as much as I am. And I'm definitely gonna be getting more. The Energy Inks are something I'm looking at. There's a Sesame Pair that I'm looking at. It's the Chico's are really cool. But yeah, I'm, I don't know which one I want to get. Tax season is coming up, so we might get a couple NMDs coming through here. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, still highly recommend them um, on StockX right now. The Aero Greens, these green marbles, they're still like 62, 50, 58 to 62 bucks. Like if you're not getting them, I'd, I would get why some people may not like them because you can see the green in between the black when you move your foot because they had to use a green base it would be halfway impossible to use a black base shoe and then get that color out of it so i understand if that's why people did not like these but that's a very dumb reason not to like this shoe and because hype beasts have moved on from ultra boost and nmds and are just buying the same dumb shit that they've been buying for the past 20 something years but that's a totally different topic <laughs> i'm gonna get out of here Thank you guys for watching the vlog. I really appreciate it if you do watch these. Not asking anybody to subscribe to my channel. That's kind of like a big thing I wanted to do with this. It's just naturally whatever people want to do. That's how they do it. If they subscribe, they subscribe. If they don't, but I'm not going to ask somebody to su subscribe to my channel. But I do say thank you if you do watch these videos. Um, it's been a really cool way to open up who I am. It's been a really cool way to open up what I want to do in life, what I'm into. And I'm very glad that this platform is even there. And I'm, you know, I'm just trying to be appreciative. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you on the next video.